Jessica Wanjiko and I'm a licensed nutritionist. I'm the co-founder of Malpia Nutrition and I'm delighted today to have to show you, to demonstrate um, vermiculture to you. I'm setting up my vermiculture today and I want to share it with you. So this is my balcony. I'm trying to grow a few crops. I have strawberries, I have thyme and lavender on the outside. And at the back here we have uh, spring onions and some spinach growing here in the basin. So yeah, let me demonstrate to you how I'm making my vermiculture. So here I have a bucket. At the base I have put uh, some few rocks and then I've put a shade net like this one. We easily find it. Uh, Mama Soko will put your onions in such a shade, shade net. So this is what I have used. Lined, uh, put it on top of the of the stones. Then now what I'm doing is I'm putting some soil inside on top of the shade net. So the shade net ensures that once I put the worms. They won't leave the bucket, so it, it will make sure that the worms stay within the bucket that I have. So I'm going to put some soil about uh, a quarter away from my bucket. So this soil, I have mixed it with the rabbit manure. Toilet, you can see these ones are made from rabbit manure and it's a bit moist or damp because I just picked it from uh, well here it has really rained here in Kikuyo so the soil is damp so I think that is enough soil so now I'm gonna put some uh, green matter on top of the soil a little bit then I'll put my food waste and then introduce the worms Right here I have some dry matter, these are leaves that I picked uh, from under some tree, that's what I'm going to line with. And now I can put a little bit of some green stuff, then I'll put my food list. Yeah, so these are weeds that I picked again along the roadside. So I'm trying to make a bed for the worms. That much. They will be comfortable and they will be able to dry. My bucket also has a tap or a hole at the bottom. So that hole will ensure that I'm able to collect my vermi liquid once it's ready or once the worms start producing it. And here I have my food waste. I'm just gonna put in the food waste. This is just from my kitchen. <laughs> I think we have we can't lack this. I just separated. I make sure that uh, we separate the food waste from other uh, non-organic or synthetic material. And I know that these worms love avocado. And we also love avocado. So there are lots of avocado peels and some eggshells and a lot of other wastes. So I'm gonna put them all in here. Then I'm gonna introduce my bones. Regrets, my red regrets. We mixed in some some pepper here. Okay, I think that's almost done. So I'm gonna get my worms now. I'm gonna put them in. I've made a bed for them. Here I have my worms. I got them from my cow. Uh, Sue Kehungu get uh, gave me some that she has propagated. I'm really grateful for that. So, so let me open this up so I can put my own skin. 
it's right here. Uh, well, people think that this won't bite. I also had the same notion, but they don't bite. They're just, they're very uh, tame. So they are going back into hiding. I don't know whether you can see them, but there are some red worms where they are going back into hiding. So this is what I'm going to put in. Ready? Ooh, let's do this. All right. So I've broken up that lamp. You can see we have lots of worms. Lots of worms. So these ones are the ones that are going to uh, digest or eat through the compost. And then they gonna give me some vermiculture within probably like three weeks. I'm gonna get the vermiculture. Then they are also going to reproduce. They reproduce real fast. So yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. We gonna see how it goes after one. Let's say three weeks. After three weeks, we'll see how it goes. Yes, are Spanish, they can be a little bit too much. <laughs> they, they can't bite, they can't do, they can't harm you. But yeah, those are the red rivers. And I'm, I think I'm Spanish, so <laughs> let me put them in there. I have a, 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 a small amount left, which I'm gonna share with a friend. So, catch me after three weeks and let's see how my Boma culture project is continuing thank you so much for joining me as i said my name is jessica Wandiko. i'm the co-founder of multi nutrition at multi nutrition we offer nutrition consultancy services weight management um meal planning we also have a psychologist on board who offers mental health uh, counseling and we're also here to create uh, knowledge to share this knowledge through nutrition education to help people understand how they can do such simple things to grow their own food, how we eat this food in a way that will benefit us and so that we are able to prevent or keep ourselves safe from lifestyle diseases, boost our immunity, you know, live a productive life. So kindly subscribe, like this video, share it with your family members, share it with your mom, your dad, your uncles, your cousins and let's create a movement that is based on organic farming and organic food products and join me in making our nation a healthy nation and promoting organic agriculture.